So we got to open it together and it was very exciting. So uh, this baby is Hey, welcome to my 21 week pregnancy update this week I have all my notes on my phone because I've not gotten to writing in my bullet journal so let's jump right in um, this week the baby is the size of an endive or a baby bok choy I have no idea what an endive is even like the picture on my app was like a purple greenish tall looking fruit or vegetable I have no idea what it is I don't really know how big a baby bok choy is either so this week's vegetables kind of suck um, but it said the baby is 10.5 inches long or tall I never know what to say and is 12.7 ounces um, and this week at 21 weeks um, they said the app I think it was the bump app I use I use the bump and Ovia so I'm always like switching between the two of them so my information is from either of those apps but I think it was the bump app said at 21 weeks they start measuring from head to toe. I've mentioned in one of my other videos, I cannot remember what one it was, that I didn't know when that point was. So it's 21 weeks that they start measuring from head to foot instead of head to bum. So um, I read online on just like a random website that the baby can now hear outside of the womb, which I think is so cool. So that like can hear like music and like the baby can hear Grace and Greg, so that's really cool and really exciting um so my symptoms this week i don't have a whole lot of symptoms not even anything new um i've been more tired this week i really really hope that this tiredness doesn't stick around because i was so happy to have that like second trimester energy boost or whatever um my first trimester i was so tired like so exhausted which i was in my last pregnancy as well but i think this time might have been worse because i have a toddler to look after and I feel like that first trimester tiredness is back, even a cup of coffee. I only ever have one cup of coffee, but it's like, ugh. One cup of coffee used to be enough to like, if I was feeling really tired, to get me up and going. It's like I drink the coffee and I feel like it doesn't even do anything anymore. So I really, really hope that's a symptom that goes away for a while. I know like in the third trimester I'm going to be tired again just because I'll be huge, but I really hope that this tiredness can go away until at least the third trimester. Um, the next symptom that I wrote down is that I'm feeling more huge. I know that I'm not huge, nowhere near huge, and I'm going to get way more huge, but I'm starting to feel, I think a couple weeks ago I said in my video that like, when I'm like I, my stomach is more in the way like when I'm bending over it's more uncomfortable I'm feeling that even more this week um, I've been pretty thirsty this week I haven't really water I think I mentioned in one of my like first trimester video or something that water just like wasn't appealing and that's happened again this week I have no idea why but it is kind of odd for me because I love water I always drink water but now that I think about it might be because we haven't had ice we our freezer has been really full so we haven't had room for ice cubes so i would i like really cold water my mom likes warm like count uh like room temperature water and i always think that's so weird i like really cold ice water so maybe i should make room for ice cubes um although i haven't had any headaches um i notice that when i don't drink enough water i get headaches so that is good so i guess i've been drinking enough water but i yeah water just hasn't been very appealing but i've yeah anyways moving on um i have to pee all the time all day long i have to pee like last weekend um mother's day weekend we walked down to greg's mom's she lives like two minutes away i went pee before we left and halfway there like halfway through the walk i feel like i can't speak today i'm stumbling over my words halfway through the walk i already had to go pee again and it's like what it's so frustrating and annoying um but thankfully knock on wood I haven't been getting up in the night to go pee so that is so nice um i was a couple weeks ago like ev like once in the night usually at like four o'clock in the morning um i definitely have to, like when i wake up in the morning i have to get up and go pee right away but i'm not waking up in the night so that's nice i know that will that will come back but i am enjoying the break being able to sleep through the night um speaking of sleep i have on and off been using my larger pregnancy pillow it's kind of greg calls it a seahorse it's kind of like got like a thick part at the middle and then like a part for your belly and then like a thick part at the end kind of it's 
that doesn't make any sense I know but it's just like a normal pregnancy pillow um, I have been using that on and off just depending on what I feel like but every single night I cannot sleep without my wedge pillow I love that wedge pillow it's either at this point I usually like prop my leg up with it because I do like to sleep on my stomach but obviously I can't do that anymore but I love that pillow I know I've talked about it before I got it in my last pregnancy and when I'm farther along it's really comfortable for like under your belly when you like belly's like so big it kind of props up your belly if that makes sense um so that's all I have for symptoms nothing new all just symptoms that have been going on pretty much the whole pregnancy um so the next thing that I wrote down to talk about is my 21 week doctor's appointment um on what day was it? on Monday I had my doctor's appointment um, it was like my follow-up from the ultrasound because my doctor was away last week My ultrasound was like almost two weeks ago or whatever ten days ago or something at that point And she was away last week. So Monday I had my doctor's appointment So I'm up four pounds. I don't have a scale So the only time I ever weigh myself is at doctor's appointments. I'm up four pounds but I'm actually right now at my pre-pregnancy weight because I lost weight over the first trimester, which I was super surprised about. I might have talked about this in my first trimester update, I can't remember, but I I didn't lose weight at all when I was pregnant with Grace, and I wasn't any more sick. I was barely even, like, slightly nauseous, but I wasn't sick at all um, this pregnancy or last time, so I was very surprised at my, like, early doctor's appointments when I was losing weight. I wasn't losing a ton of weight, so it wasn't a concern or anything, but... I guess I lost four pounds because I'm now up four pounds, but I'm at my pre-pregnancy weight. So there's that. And then um, my blood pressure was 124 over 73. Um, the baby's heart rate, she said, was 160, which I thought was odd because it's never been that high. But um, she said it sounded like the baby was moving. Um, I couldn't really feel it. Um, I think I've talked about it in my last pregnancy the update that um, I have an anterior placenta I think I've talked about that in every single update um, so I don't feel a lot of the movements I only feel the movement really down low um, but she said that it sounded like the baby was moving and I do remember my doctor once in my last pregnancy saying that because the sound got like louder and quieter that, that meant baby was moving so that's kind of cool um, and then the fundus or whatever, I think that's what it's called when they measure from your pubic bone to the top of your belly, was measuring at 25 centimeters. I should have asked, but I didn't. Um, I feel like that's big. I feel like it's supposed to be, like, I was 20 weeks, so it should have been 20 centimeters. But maybe I'm mistaken. I meant to Google that, but I totally forgot. But anyways, at 21 weeks, it was 25 centimeters. And I was, so the last, yeah, the last thing um, from my doctor's appointment, I was going to make a whole gender reveal video, but I decided not to because I just wanted it to be um, just Greg and I to find out together and I didn't want to put all the fuss into making a big video about it. Um, I was going back and forth between just getting the doctor to tell me in her office and then I was going to surprise Greg and I was going to make a whole video about that. Or I was just going to ask her to write it down on a piece of paper and take it home and then Greg and I could open it together. So I chose this, the second option. She wrote it down on a little card and it was so hard not to open it. It was like a, like an actual, like a card, like a thank you card or something, but just like blank. Um, but she didn't seal it. So as I was walking out of the office, I wanted to like pull it out and look at it so bad. So I licked it and sealed it right away so that I couldn't. Um, luckily Greg was off work at, like fairly early at like, I don't know, like three o'clock or something. Sometimes he's not off till like four or five. So we got to open it together and it was very exciting. So uh, this baby is another girl and we are very excited. Um, I know Greg wanted a boy, of course, every dad does, but we are both very excited. And I think we're both just mostly so, so excited for Grace to have a sister. I know I am. I feel like I've talked about in probably every video that I feel like a sisterly bond is a really special thing. Not that I would know because I'm an only child, but I feel like it's a really special thing and I'm excited for her to be able to have that. Um, names, we've been going back and forth between like so many names I think um, our list of names is probably completely different at this point than it was when we very first started writing down names at the beginning of this pregnancy we had pretty much decided between like two boy names um, which well maybe maybe more than two but Logan was one that we both really 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 liked and probably would have been what we named this boy if 
it, if this baby if it was a boy um jude was another one jude is one of greg's favorite names probably his top favorite name and i do really like it i think it's an adorable name but grace is like a song type name sort of like amazing grace and then there's hey jude from the beatles so i feel like that's creating like a musical theme for names and then if we have more kids would they feel left out if they didn't have a musical themed name and I don't really want a theme for my kids' names and we're not music we're not musicians or anything like that, so I feel like it'd be kinda weird to have a musical themed thing for our kids' names. So it's the only reason that I'm like not super into that name. But anyways, my point was we had pretty much decided between those two names, more leaning towards Logan, and then this baby is a girl. So now we have an entire list of names that we cannot decide on. I think there's like six names that we have right now. Um and I think it's completely different than from when we started. So I am I probably will share some of them at some point, but there's just too many to share at this point. Um, and then the last thing I have written down um, that I wanted to mention is that I've just been trying to get ready because we might be moving before this baby's born. We might not. I think I've talked about that in these updates or in vlogs or something I don't know I feel like I've talked about it um, we might be moving we might not be moving we don't really know where we're at things are sort of all up in the air so it's hard to plan for this baby like where stuff is gonna be and I really I'm I wouldn't say I'm nesting already because I'm just the type of person who loves to organize and have everything ready and just always like organ reorganizing stuff in the house and just rearranging so I'm trying to get as ready as I can. Um, I know where all of Grace's like small clothes are and like all the baby things. I know where they all are. I don't want to pull them out yet. Um, we did buy a changing table. Um, my dad's going to paint it. He's on vacation right now but he's going to paint it when he gets home and then we can put it in our room and then maybe I'll sort of start putting some things out on that. But the one thing that I have been able to do is start buying like stocking up on like toilet paper I want to get like paper plates and like extra napkins and like I bought some shampoo and like those kind of things that you need in your daily life but I'm not necessarily gonna want to go out to the store to get those I did that when I was pregnant with my first daughter Grace and it was helpful but it was more helpful in that situation for the fact of saving money that we didn't have to spend a whole lot of money on house essentials when we had a new baby and we wanted to you know get take out more often or we wanted to buy her something some cute outfit or something like that so it was more helpful in that sense because I do enjoy going out and going shopping and when she was little it was a lot of fun to you know dress her up and take her out to the mall and you know show her off as well as getting things done getting grocery shopping and all that sort of stuff but I don't think it's going to be as much fun to go out to the store with a newborn or like a like a three month old and a toddler so I think I'm not gonna go be going out places as much when I have this baby because I have grace as well and it's just gonna be such I feel I feel like it's going to be such a hassle so I feel like I'm gonna benefit more by stocking up on those things this time around either way it's something that I can do now at this point to feel more ready for this baby so that is all I have to say for this video I feel like it was more of didn't have a lot of symptoms of my pregnancy and more of just like an update of this pregnancy and what's been going on but that is all I have to say so I'm gonna go ahead and show my bump now okay again I feel like I, I always wear flowy shirts for these videos not on purpose but let's see I guess it, you can't it's so hard to tell with this flowy shirt um, so I'm just gonna take this right off actually just to make it easier so here is my bump with my shirt on let's see Actually, I do feel like it looks bigger this week, especially on the camera. So, let's see from the front. Uh, from the angle of the camera, I cannot tell what that looks like. Um, yeah, I think it definitely it looks bigger this week. So, yeah. That's my bump. At 21, almost 22 weeks. I cannot believe I'm already almost 22 weeks. Tomorrow, I'll be 22 weeks pregnant, which is just crazy. That's... Tomorrow will be two weeks to like the first vibe, I hate that word, viability stage or whatever they call it, which is so exciting, which is always like such a relief point to get to in pregnancy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to follow my journey. 
see you in the next one thanks for watching bye